Hey everyone, it's me, Curtis Parody, and welcome to episode number two of my Sims 4 Let's Play. Let's jump into this right here. So in the last episode, the very first episode, we just kind of redid my kitchen because I got stuck in build mode. Um, I love build mode. It's probably my favorite thing. So anyway, we're inside of the game here. Um, this is me. It's me, Curtis P, everybody. Um, so I'm browsing the web because I'm a good Sim, and that's what I do. Um, so we should go out and we should meet some people. This is probably one of my favorite things to do because I don't really have to work for two days. So I have a lot of time on my hands. So, um, it's a good opportunity to go out and actually, like, meet some people. So I can meet the people that are walking around right now, or we get to head out to a local venue and actually check those out, and that's kind of what I want to do now. So, we'll jump through the loading screen here, and we'll head to a local place. So here's the Blue Velvet. We will head there. It's a nightclub, which is kind of fun. So we'll jump over to the Blue Velvet, and we'll go and meet some people. Now, one of the things you're going to notice here, it's super easy, at least I found it last time I was playing, to actually meet people and, like, chat with Sims inside of the game. And it actually, it's actually really cool because the new features inside of the game allow it to allow you to do so many different social interactions at the same time that it's incredibly cool. So now we're inside of this uh, club and there's this sim, Liberty Lee. So we can meet like a whole bunch of sims. Like if I greet this one, friendly introduction, I have a friendly introduction with that sim. We can go and get a drink too. So let's have a drink. Let's order a drink. Let's have a juice. Let's have a flaming zesty salt. Because apparently that's a thing, so. Uh, my Sim will, I don't know what he's doing. He's sitting down for some reason, so. Oh, he's chatting with Liberty, so. Uh, I actually want you to go and get a drink first. Go and grab a drink first and then you'll come back, so. One of the really cool things you'll notice is there's a lot of different like interactions when you're actually with different Sims. And, oh my god, it's Pancake Bob! What are you doing, Pancake Bob? Or Bob Pancake, sorry, I'm saying it in the wrong way. Um, he's just chilling. He's just like, yes, this is my life! Anyway, so, uh, this is one of the bars that are inside of the game, obviously. Super fun. So see, I can greet Pancake Bob, even though I'm getting a drink right now, so it doesn't really matter. Um... So, and there's also this interaction, like, I'm sitting down right now, but I could, like, move and do some other stuff, and I could stand up. So you can do a bunch of different things. Like, you can, I can have a friendly introduction with this person. So we can all be talking and, like, really kind of, um, did I already do this? I do a funny introduction. And let's see, friendly. I can gossip. We can meet this person over here. So this is when it's really cool. So you can actually, like, meet so many different people just by like standing around and talking. And then I'm like, oh, I wanna like talk to her. I wanna brighten her day. So now I'm talking with like a whole bunch, all the people with plum bobs on the top of their heads, I'm like talking to, or I'm like in some sort of, or I could be talking to. So we can do like a funny introduction with him. And then I can talk back to Pancake Bob. And then I can maybe, I don't know, go more choices. I can go friendly. I can discuss an interest. We can, I can gossip about my neighbors with her. So there's all these different things that I can kind of line up and then I can do, and it's super cool. And I love it, because it's super fun. And then you can jump into the relationship panel and you can actually see all of your different friends, so. Uh, it's kind of cool there. My sim is feeling really happy. This is nicely decorated, feeling good, and a pleasant conversation. Hi, how's it going? You're just chilling. What are you up to? Yes. Heartfelt compliment. More choices. Maybe I'd be friendly to her. Share a creative idea. More choices. Friendly. Chat about property values. Maybe I'm talking to her. I'm talking about... I have a deep conversation with her. So, super cool. I just love the idea that I can have like all of these conversations while I'm like just sitting at a bar. It's like super fun. Uh, and it helps out, like, your relationships with, like, Sims can go up, like, super quickly just because you're having, like, these massive conversations. So, like, I can talk with this guy some more. And we can do other things, too. I can be mean. I'm not really a mean person, so. I can tell a funny story. So. There's also some pop-ups here. So it says, um, I can hug someone. I want to earn some money and I want to play some video games. So these are kind of like little wants that your sim will, like, it's like an idea. They're like, I kind of want that or I kind of need that. So, um, it's just an option, right? It's not really something I really have to do, but it's something I could do. 
Tell engaging story. Who are you? Travis Scott. Well, Travis, I like your jacket, and it's very fancy. Hug. There we go. So I can hug her. Now, what's going to happen with that is... I'm just fast-forwarding time. So my sim gets up, and then he's going to walk over... I don't know what he's doing. He's walking somewhere. Oh, he went and grabbed his drink, because that's important. And now I hugged her. And see, then I get some 25 of something, some little point or something. But uh, I'm not sure where my drink is. I still technically have it. I just don't know where it is. It'll probably reappear in a second. But I can go and, like, brighten day. I can kind of discuss some stuff with him. See, there it is. My drink is back. So, and I can actually click on it and clean up if I really wanted to. So, it's really cool. I just love... The multitasking in the game is amazing. So to the crew that put that together, yes, um, you guys are awesome. The social, this is the thing, right? So like the build menu may be lacking a little bit and like it'll get better as time goes on, hopefully, hopefully. But like the social interactions and the actual gameplay in The Sims is like super fun and I love that. Um, what are you doing? Show off muscles. No, I don't really want to do that. See, now I'm feeling super confident, which is kind of cool. What's this say? Use a bold pickup line on somebody. Ooh. Maybe. Let's see. Friendly. Discuss interest. Get to know. Loving the look of this place, too. It just looks really cool. What was that, lady? What are they doing? Um, let's see. Let's jump into here. One of the other things I noticed, I don't often keep this thing open. I don't know. I guess it's part of the UI design. Because you can see that I need to go to the bathroom here. And your sim will start to... It'll kind of appear over here-ish. Uh, but you can jump in and it's like, oh, my bladder is kind of getting full. Um, so if I wanted to, I can go upstairs and hit the... I can pee like a champion, because that's what I want to do. I want to pee uh, like a champion. Like a champion. Let's jump back to my sim. If I just click on them, I can do that. So there's lots of different little keyboard shortcuts. Um, like, So O will open up all of um, your needs. For some reason, O does. Um, what else do we got? L is all of your like life-based stuff. Your simology is your Y. I know your inventory is your I. J is for your actual job, and then this is your G, which is interesting. It's over here. So there's some kind of like super simple keyboard shortcuts that I'm always personally jumping in and out of. Um, so yeah, uh, what are those things? And obviously to center on your sim, you can just to click on your sim and he'll center. So now he's upstairs and he's doing things. So I can go back downstairs. Um, I can see my sims are over here. They're kind of doing stuff. So... I can go and chat. I can go and chat with this friend. Propose a crazy scheme. You can do that if you really want to. What's up, random person? What else do we have? There's another. I can click on this to expand it because there's apparently another one. Hmm, where did everyone go? Are they all outside or something? They all kind of left. I don't know where they went. Hmm. Also, the world just looks really pretty. Like when you're here, a lot of the world does look really nice. Now, let's keep in mind that it's all like hyper fake, but it does look really nice. So that's one of the nice things. Like, I can go over here with my sim if I really wanted to. I could go all the way over there. Like, we could see whatever that is. I don't know. We can dig that up. Or what is this? A pear tree? Sure, let's grab that. Um, so there's a bunch of, like, collectibles also, obviously, throughout the game. So here's, like, an onion plant. And what's over here? There's something here. Some sort of log of some sort. So there's a bunch of different collectibles. There's a bunch of different stuff. I can't really do anything with the water. I don't know what that is. I think I can dig up, I would assume. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool on that front that, there we go.
we gotta lock the camera on my sim like I used to be able to. So I can kind of, we can kind of follow him as he jogs all the way over here and digs this thing out, whatever it was. Curtis is a geek. These Sims like to play games and are great at finding uh, rare collectibles. Well, that's fun. Ooh, what is this? Oh, so I can't really do anything because the pear tree has kind of grown. So, whatever. What's this thing? So this is kind of uh, wearing off. It'll wear off in eight minutes time. So I can jump back into the O because you can see I'm kind of getting hungry. So maybe it's time to go home and cook some food. So I can just click on the go home button. It's sort of like a quick menu and it'll just sort of send your sim off home. And uh, as soon as they sort of leave the lot um, or get to a spot at the edge of the lot, um, they will be able to leave and go back to their house. So you'll notice there's no like actual, um, oh, how do I say it? There's no cars inside of the game. So your sim will never get in and out of a car even when they're going to work, which I thought was really weird the first time I saw it because I was like, there's been cars since every single other game, but Apparently there are no cars inside of The Sims 4, so um, you just kind of have to get used to that, which is a little different, but oh well, change is good, I think. Um, so let's jump in here. I can cook some things, so this is kind of cool too. If I open up the cook thing, there's like a whole menu of stuff that I can actually choose from, which is kind of fun. Or of course I can, I can serve a dinner, I can have a dinner, and I can have, let's have a grilled cheese. Uh, if you have like multiple people in your family too, you can also uh, have like a single serving, I think, of stuff. I forget how it works. But um, it's also very cool. So, yeah, fun stuff. Um, did I get rid of the sink? I think I got rid of the sink. So we'll have to install a new sink. So, and I don't think I can put... Oh, I can put sinks in here. This is cool. So one of the new additions into the game, they allow you now to put sinks into the center console, which is pretty cool. So... If I really wanted to, I could put a sink in here. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the sink on this side though, just because, how much is a sink? $240, no, that's too expensive. Um, maybe if I jump into here, maybe I can find kitchen sinks. Oh, it's all the same ones anyway. Okay, so uh, we'll go with that sink. And we'll change the color of it a black and a silver yeah black and silver is cool um there's also like microwaves and food processors and stuff like that as well oh there's a coffee maker let's get a coffee maker this is probably a solid investment as i'm a pretty big coffee drinker myself so uh let's see here we'll go with we'll go with the always traditional coffee maker oh and i can put it on the angle that's kind of cool i like that so you can kind of just stick it on the angle of this whole thing i'll stick it right there um, look at that. That's fun. There we go. We'll jump back into live mode now. So, super simple. So, um, I can access my skill menu at any time if I want to by hitting, apparently skills is L. So, I can go in and take a look at all my skills. My cooking skills is also like a level marker. You can sort by actual levels or my name, which is kind of interesting. So, that's kind of fun. Change that up. There's my Sammy made a grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese sandwich. So uh, we'll eat this quickly. I don't know what our needs are doing. So they're pretty, they're fine for right now. So what do I need to do for my job? Do I need to do anything? I need to play video games for four hours, apparently. It's one of my skill things that I need to work on for my job. So we should definitely do that once we've eaten. So I'm feeling very inspired right now, which is pretty cool. So things I want to do is buy an instrument. Apparently, play video games or earn some money. So we're going to actually play video games. Play games. We'll play Sims forever. Oh, my God. If you haven't already seen this, this is pretty freaking cool. So it's The Sims 1. Ah! Do you guys remember The Sims 1? I remember this. I, the first time yesterday, I was in a live stream and we were talking about this. I remember playing this game so much. I remember playing that expansion pack. That was um, is that The Sims Vacation. That was super fun. That is just a random house fire, you know, typical. Oh, the love tub. I remember that. That was so much fun. I think that's the first hot tub you could woohoo in in The Sims I mean, 4 or Sims 1. I can't remember. That hotel, I remember staying at that hotel. It's like a beach hotel. It was super fun. So, 
Um, what else do we want? Oh, my sim is getting tired, apparently. So we should... Um, we'll have to head to bed sometime soon. Fast forward time. You also notice that time travels a little... It's, it's, it's The speed is a little different inside of The Sims 4. It's actually a little slower than normal. So like when you're on the one menu, it's, it's a little bit slower. Uh, which is actually nice because you can accomplish a lot more within a day. Uh, which is kind of fun. So... It's an interesting choice, but I noticed that the first time I was playing it, I was like, I think the days are short, or not, I think the days are longer, I mean. And uh, then I saw a tweet from SimGuru Graham that said something to the effect that they had lengthened the date, the day just a little bit, uh, by making time a little bit slower. Um, and I was like, oh, that's cool. So it's almost like every minute is like a sec, is like two seconds, maybe it's, Three, one, two, one, two, one, two. Maybe it's three seconds. I'm not really sure. Or maybe it's one second. One second a minute. I'm not really sure. But um, it's cool because it doesn't, it almost seems like you can do a lot more than you used to be able to. So you can see now that I'm, because I'm tired, this sort of little thing sort of shows up. It's just uncomfortable and low energy. So uh, I can go to bed now. I can sleep. Also, of course, it does show up in my needs panel, but um, it's kind of a nice thing because I don't have to have my needs panel always open. I can just sort of check this. It says I'm also, oh, that's pretty tasty. So that's like a positive mood lift. Um, so let's just close off playing The Sims. And let's let her sim head off to bed. Let's make sure auto lights are on on all of my lights. And we're off to bed. So we'll fast forward time. I love the uh, clock. You'll notice it at the very bottom of the screen here, how it's just like, it's... It's like whipping along, it's all blurry. It's super fun. It's super fun and super cool. It's just those little additions into the game that kind of make everything um, just that much more fun. Um, also, your sim doesn't just wake up randomly at six o'clock anymore. They're, they will sleep for as long as they need to. My sim needs to go to the washroom. Use. Uh, this seems to be a thing that happens with the game all the time is whenever you sleep, all of a sudden when you wake up, you really have to go to the bathroom. So I'm not sure if it's a glitch or if that's how it's designed or if I did something by choosing uh, the traits for the sim that sort of make it that way, I don't really know, but... Um, so after this is done, my sim really needs some energy. So, we're gonna have some breakfast, and we'll have some scrambled eggs. Which is kind of fun, so... Wait for my sim to be done. So, you can see inside of the fridge, which is kind of funny. Um, scrambled eggs! Whoa! Whoa, me! That is totally... That is actually how I scram... Oh, yeah, and you put... Yeah, drop the salt. That's totally how I would scramble eggs. Just like... Eh, ah, ah. Yes, perfect. This is how I cook. This is how we do. Oh, uh -huh. so... Um. Oh, my God! Ah, my sim is on fire! Um. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. How do I put myself out? How do I... What am I doing? Go over here. Go here. How do I put myself out? Extinguish self. I can't. I can't route while I'm on fire. Well, that's unfortunate. Go here. Now my sim is all like traumatized. Ah! Curtis receives $310 as an insurance payment. Well, that's good. Uh, it doesn't really help that I'm, like, hungry and... Okay, we're gonna have to go shower. Take a shower. So, there's a bunch of different options for, like, take a brisk shower, thoughtful shower, a bunch of stuff like that. Um, so one thing you can do is you can click on this sort of stuff and you can replace it. Though it costs a lot of money and I can't afford it. Uh, we'll replace the fridge because I can get just quick meals out of the fridge. Why did I have to start on fire? Ah, The worst thing ever! Anyway, so my sim is taking the longest shower of his life now. We're going to just fast forward time here and uh, figure out what is going on with my sim. All right. Are you, are you done yet? You're still showering. He's like, I'm still hungry. Okay, so you need to have a quick meal. You need to have, just have some like cereal or something. What is this saying? He's tense. Fire is out. Thank goodness the fire is over. Did anything else light on fire? Did anything else get burnt? No. It doesn't appear. Whoa. It just slams the door. Slam. 
That's all I have for this episode, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit up that like button and subscribe to this channel for more Sims 4 content coming out very soon. Of course, if you did enjoy this, tell me in the comment section down below. You can also get in contact with me on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Curtis Parody Show. Or you can find me on uh, Twitter at Curtis Parody if you are interested. And if you happen to be interested in sort of finding all of my content on the Sims 3 exchange or what is now sorry not the sims 3 exchange i can't still can't get over it on the sims 4 gallery you can find me on uh the gallery i am cjp132 so once you actually jump into the entire thing um somewhat like this you can just kind of go into the search bar and you can actually find me if you want to so you could type in cjp132 and bada bing bada boom stuff should appear that is created by me. Uh, make sure you change the thing so it's not just Maxis, so it's all. And then you click, not item name, you click origin ID. I don't know why this is all in there. I don't know why it's so difficult! Anyway, so there it is, CJP132, you'll find these two things. That's me, you can click on it there, and of course you can find other stuff by clicking on my profile, and you can comment, and you can leave stuff like that, and all that other fun stuff! So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I hope to see you guys again next time, and until then, I'm Curtis Parody. Happy simming! Happy Sims 4 simming! Bye guys!